All right, so, how's it going, guys? Oh, hey, Josh here, and we are live with Cybercast episode 43, the Transformers video podcast. Uh, my name is Josh, also known as G1 Hexatron. You can find me at YouTube and Twitter at G1 Hexatron or on my Facebook page, the G1 Hexatron. I am joined by Dakota and James, so why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? I am Dakota. You can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Primal Sabbath, and that's it. I'm James. You can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Victory Saber 77. All right. So, do you guys have uh, anything to start off with, or just want to jump right into the news? I know we were kind of talking beforehand. Got a lot of great stuff. Uh, there's a uh, rumored uh, new animated movie. There's also the little bit of information, but it's basically just confirming the new cartoon that'll be appearing in, I believe, 2015. Uh, we also have some new third-party products, uh, some pictures of Masterpiece, Will Jack. Uh, there's also, as far as third-party goes, hasn't even been put out on any Transformer website yet, but also a third-party Megatron, or G1 Megatron, uh, along nice. with a few other things as well. But uh, you guys got anything? Anything cool? Any uh, Anything you pick up this week? Uh, nope, just replaced uh, my broken gold plastic. Thing. Well, maybe it came in Friday. Careful. Yeah. Jamie, you get anything cool this week, man? No. No, I haven't got anything yet, unfortunately. Kind of feeling deprived right now. Wanting well, something. It's kinda, I always have to feel like I have like something just coming in. You know, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just waiting on like Takara to release everything that I pre-ordered from them. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the Story. news then. Since uh, Cut didn't have anything to say, it's kind of boring. So, <laughs> all right. First thing that I wanted to bring up: Have you guys seen Michael Bay on the YouTube video to where he's kind of like uh, he's supposed to be advertising or uh, you know talking about the new Samsung curved uh, HD TV? Have you guys seen that? Let, let, let me stop you right there, Josh. I just gotta stop you right there. It's not just a curved TV. It's a curved 105-inch ultra-high definition TV. Continue. Well, the, the whole point uh, is, have you seen the video? No. No. I won't watch it until I have a curved 105-inch ultra-high def All television. Right. Hey, what's up, Optimus Barrett Prime? How you doing, man? So basically, uh, Michael Bay's out there with some guy from Samsung. And Samsung guy, he's out there, um, you know, kind of like going through his little intro and then Michael Bay pretty much like Primal Sabbath always interrupts him and because he interrupts him he loses his train of thought or he actually skips past the part where the Samsung guy was reading from the teleprompter so now Michael Bay's talking and it still has that guy the host uh, you know little info that he's supposed to read off so he's just kind of like trying to by his time, he's just like, uh, 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 and then it kind of goes to his stuff, and he starts to kind of read some of it off, but they go too fast, so he kind of moves past it, and then they have to, like, bring it back, and he basically just, he, he gets so nervous, and he doesn't like being on stage, obviously, or not used to talking a bunch in front of a lot of people, so he starts to walk up off stage, comes back, starts to say something, he just, I, I can't do this. He just walks off stage. <laughs> the Samsung guy's just like, "All right, well, that was Michael Bay, and uh, you know, just, you know, thank, thankfully we were able to have him on. There was like like three people clapping. Just... <laughs> it's hilarious. It's only like a little minute long, so if you get a chance, go watch it. Uh, that is your director for TF4. So uh, I was kind of hoping that he'd do the same thing to the Transformer franchise, just kind of walk away from it, but. Well, that's what we were all hoping for. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. All right. The next little thing is this is a little image from, uh, is it Pat Labor? I'm not really sure. Pat, how oh, yeah. Uh, from, they're having a movie come out, which is probably going to be better than Transformer 4, to be honest. Uh, but nice. they have a movie coming out there in Japan. Not really sure if it's going to have any type of English subtitles or if they're going to transfer it over here for America or people in the UK that you know only understand English. But uh, something to look forward to in these bots. I mean, th this reminds me of kind of an updated Robo Jocks uh, movie. 
which I, I thought was kind of cool for the time as well. That's a great anime. Yeah, it is. All right, next little thing is 3A acquires the Transformer brand license. Uh, now, they haven't said exactly what they're going to be working on, but it more than likely they're thinking that it might be some type of TF4 figures. And they said that they kind of work on a little bit of higher-end figures, so it's going to range from anywhere from $25, and they can sometimes do things up to $1,000. So. <laughs> That's I'm saying, $1,000 for a crappy movie, Optimus Prime. Oh, but it's so detailed. Yeah, no, cool. thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> so uh, it hasn't been confirmed that that's what they're going to be working on, but that's something that uh, they just kind of assumed. All right, and now finally getting into the toy section here. A uh, little updated photo to where we can kind of see, I don't want to say prototype, but more of kind of a test shot here of Masterpiece Wooljack. Uh, we don't have any kind of like little silhouette or anything like that we can well, actually that is see. Prototype, by the way. Well, it might just be a test shot because I'm sure some things will sort of change here. Just no, because... no, well, I mean, it's it's a proto test shot is whenever they actually have it in a molded plastic. That's the prototype that gets molded um, before the test shot stage. The test shot's before prototype. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, test shot is after prototype. Uh, I don't think so, sir. But anyways, regardless, this is not going to be final, so... Uh, a lot of people were wondering if this was going to have any type of electronics or have like a little bit of clear pieces here for the side of the ears, and maybe they would light up or something like that. So, uh, still a possibility. You know, this is nothing close to final, uh, so it might still change up in a few other places, but gives you a really good idea of you know what it's going to look like. What do you guys think of it? Um, I think it's a lot better than Generations Wheeljack. That's for sure. Um, but, you know, it's it's like, I don't have a place for a Masterpiece Wheeljack for me personally, but, you know, I like it. I, I like it. Good. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah, I think the the car looks really nice, and it captured, you know, that, uh, was it Lancia? Uh, it's a Stratos, uh... Lancia Stratos? 500 or something like that, so some kind of... I believe it was an indie, uh, an indie version of that car. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I know there's only like two or three left in the world, or something like that. I mean, it's just awesome looking. So, real excited about that figure. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Yeah, yeah. robot mode looks really solid. I, I like it. The other thing is Transformers Cloud. Uh, they have confirmed that they're going to be coming out with eight other releases uh, because the first two releases, or they're going to be coming out with. Uh, Eight releases total. Uh, the first two were Optimus Prime and Megatron, as we saw with Big Bad Toy Store, uh, TF Source, and maybe other places as well. That those figures were going for pre-orders, ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. I think the Collectors Club had them up for like eighty bucks, so, so just a little bit cheaper there. Cheaper there, uh, yeah. still quite a bit for you know the figures that they are, and I mean they're 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 both molds that we've had. You know, a few times already. But basically, the way that they're going to break this up is with E Hobby is going to do four, and then uh, Takara Tomi is going to do four as well. I think it's like the Takara Tomi Mall or something like that. Yeah, T Takara Tomi Mall. Uh, so some of the ones that we see on here, if this is any type of you know confirmation of what we're going to be getting. Uh, you have a Rodimus, which is using the Springer mold. Uh, you can see you have a Jazz back there. I really can't tell which mold they're using there. But uh, you also have the Fall of Cybertron Blaster. Over here you have the Fall of Cybertron Swindle, Fall of Cybertron Skywarp, and Fall of Cybertron Soundwave. So why would they just repaint? I mean, they, they've already released those. That's, that's what I'm not quite getting. Uh, unless they're using new molds for them or something that we just don't know about. That or maybe they just paint a few little pieces or something like that. Uh, you know, I have no idea. But again, it's going to be something that you already have some form of it yeah. more than likely. Yeah. And you know, for them just to maybe add a few painted pieces or something like that, I really don't think it justifies the price that they're more than likely going to be coming out at. Yeah, really, I just see the Rodimus and the Megatron really being worth it. Uh, but I mean, 
you know, the Optimus is hit or miss. I guess you really got to be an Optimus fan, but you know. Now, do we know if the Optimus has the chrome? You know, it looked like it. That'd be uh, the only reason why I would ever pick it up, if that, because the hand is so expensive. Yeah, but, if you could give me yeah. just a minute. I thought it had like black in it or something like that. It's got black on the wind vane. Um, uh, I thought it was a little bit strange looking, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not worth the price, then, in my opinion. Uh, let me see. It appears that it does indeed have the chrome. Mm. All over? Uh, Maybe on the front bumper. And, and you know what? At this angle, it, actually, no, it doesn't look like it's it's chromed. It was just the, the I guess, the black mix, mixing in with the silver. Okay, so no, it's not chromed. My bad. Okay. Yeah, I can find plenty of other things that I can spend $100 on. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Right, next thing is TF4. Age of Extinction, or if they're going to call that that, because they also have uh, or Lost Age, so I guess it's not confirmed on exactly what name they're going to be going for here. Uh, uh, but from Lost Age is just the Japanese translation for Age of Extinction. Okay, because this did come from a uh, <laughs> uh, tag hobby. Uh, but so this thing is going to be coming out, and it is a premium edition Optimus Prime. Uh, it's going to be going for about eighty bucks. And just got the little silhouette stuff. So it says down at the bottom, same as a a broad version, which basically makes me think it's going to be the same as the Hasbro Leader Class version. Yeah. Um, it's some somewhere down at the bottom, because uh, I I remember reading that. So it's like, okay, you're going to spend eighty bucks on a Takara, or you know, forty five on the Hasbro version. Yeah. But if it's like what they did with like the Buster mold, I mean, yeah. I'd rather have the Buster Takara version than the actual Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, and the other drawback about this is it, it is TF4, so uh, it's yeah. a Bayformer. <laughs> it's so, a Bayformer. So. Uh, it's pretty much not getting on my toy shelf. The only thing that even has, stands a chance is if, if they have a really cool-looking Galvatron. I find it funny that they're using the silhouette of the first trilogy Optimus and not the new uh, design for him. So, there's that too. I mean, well, this Keeping is it a secret. Third, this isn't yeah. the first, I mean, this isn't the first mistake that they've ever done with any type of, uh, oh, no, uh, it's, you know, it's, toy or it's animation. It's a little hilarious. I mean, if Hasbro's anything, it, it is consistent with <laughs> foul-ups, so. All right, and Dakota, you know what? I'm just going to basically click on this and walk away from my computer. And <laughs> <laughs> you go after it, and then uh, let me and Jame know when we're allowed to talk and we'll just chime in. So. Gotcha. Okay, uh, basically the Transformers Club hinted – well, I, I wouldn't say they hinted. They posted pictures of a comic that they're trying to sell, uh, which has the teaser for what BotCon 2014 story is going to be about. Uh, so that way, you know, people didn't have to buy it, which, I mean, whatever, I'm not in charge of their marketing. Um, on the back, it was a picture of Cannonball from Transformers Prime, or not Transformers Prime, Transformers Cybertron, uh, no, who was a space pirate. No, 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 go back. This one? <laughs> well, it's, it's that. The bottom yeah, it's one. That guy. Oh, that one. Sure. All right. Um, his flag on the back, and it says, you know, it's got a, some text up there about piratey type stuff. Um, that is actually a fan mock-up, and, and um, Josh Burcham, who did last year's BotCon comic, actually made his own kind of in-comic mock-up uh, of what Breakdown would kind of look like in comic form in those color schemes and all. But none of it's official, none of it's confirmed. Um, the Cannonball's flag may be there just as kind of like, okay, it is Pirates for sure, Pirates. But it's more or less Pirates versus. So we don't really know who they're trying to fight, although it can be assumed it's going to be dragons because they've well, got someone, a lot of those molds. Someone said it'd be awesome if it was ninjas. <laughs> I think that would And be I would be like, that would be amazing because nice. then you could bring in, uh, you know, Six Shot in there and, uh, you know, you, you could have, you know, you know, I guess your Drift and, you know, Legend. Well, I mean, it's, it'd be just a bunch of black repaints. No thanks. Takara has, has all of us set on black repaints. Who would not want a black repaint of Six Shot? G uh, one, please. G one Six Shot. Let me let me let me first ask you if the club Basically will do lucky that. Draw. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. See, it already exists. But, um, 
I'm actually like, I think it'd be really cool if they actually gave us a flag, like a complimentary pirate flag for each box set of Cannonball's flag. I think that'd be awesome. But, Instead of like a pin? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a pin, I want a flag. Add on your, your pirate ship? And... I would, uh, no, I mean, I would just, I would like, you know, fly it very high in my front yard uh, with, with no American flag because, you know, that's disgusting. Um, and just, just be like, yeah, <laughs> this right. is my house. This is my land. So now you're going to uh, cosplay to BotCon as a pirate theme? What? You're going to cosplay as a pirate to uh, BotCon? You know, I probably couldn't pull off a pirate. I'm not one for Have you ever on seen uh, Peter Pan, you know, the, the <laughs> cartoon? You could go with Smee. Uh, no, Josh. I had a fantastic <laughs> childhood. I wasn't forced to watch Peter Pan. <laughs> But basically, it's it's a pirates versus theme, and a lot of people are speculating if it's going to be the Cybertron pirates, which I dearly hope not, or the uh, the Star Seekers, uh, which I really hope so. But I don't know. We'll see. We've got five months to speculate away. Jamie, you got anything for this? Or no, I'm not. I don't know a lot about the pirates, so there's not much to know, unfortunately. You, you know, yeah. the only. Uh... G1 episode that was it's not even really pirate related but uh, that actually had pirate in the name was you know Pirate Planet from the uh, Headmaster Japanese Headmaster series and you had you know Six Shot and you had um, you know the Autobot and Decepticon clones in there so you had Pounce and Wingspan and I believe Counterpunch was in there and uh, you know Fastlane and Cloudbreaker so that would be kind of cool if it was just kind of like uh, they took characters from that episode. That that would definitely want me to get a box set. If uh, I say that, but then again, it's just going to be. I would I would see them generation teasing a figures regular or pirate flag instead of Cannonball's pirate flag. Because Cannonball was one of the Star Seekers as well, so it's really hard to say if it's going to be Cannonball's crew from Cybertron or Thundercron uh, Thundertron's crew from the Align continuity. Um, but. You know, and a lot of people are pissed off because, oh, that's not Diaclone, or oh, it's not G1. Uh, so it's like, would it work? You know, I don't think a, all Diaclone or all G1 homage would really work as a coherent story because it's already been done. It needs to be G1. So. Well, I mean, it could have G1 homages. I mean, they do that all the time. We want actual G1 figures is what we want, but... Anyways, we'll we'll move on from that then. TFC Toys uh, Prometheus, uh, also known as the Defensor. This guy is going to be Gumball, also known as Streetwise. Uh, finally got some Gumball. <laughs> a little wow. name. Name. That's actually Greek to Japanese translation, Chinese translation for like God of Thunder or something stupid. I did not know that. Uh, I, did, I didn't know it either. I just made it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gumball. I got a few uh, images right here that we'll take a look at. Uh, kind of cool that you can plug this into the back, so just kind of like the original, but that is just one big gun. That gun is huge for this whole car. I still can't get, get over the Gumball name. Oh, is that supposed to be like a Mustang? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It just looks cheap. Yeah, it does. Well, I have no plans on getting that. Ford, so, I mean... Come on, give it a break. <laughs> well, I have no idea what it is with you on like car brands and stuff like that. I didn't even know like people really cared that much about it. But you don't understand. Uh, all right. So, anyways, this is I, I can kind of see this being retooled as well. You know, repainted, retooled, uh, and maybe they could even get like a Minerva out of this. If you kind of if you kind of look at it. Uh, you know, the sides here, I think that's kind of just what I was looking at. I, I just kind of was thinking, you know, maybe if, you know, this section right here was a little pink, you got the white there, you put a, maybe kind of do a small headmaster, and you have these sections that already kind of come up like Minerva. And, yeah, I know she was a Porsche, but... Um, and, and them hips don't lie either. <laughs> you know, I can kind of see that they might be able to pull something off like that, so... Maybe. I'd yeah. rather see Fans Project do it if they're doing the Hell Headmaster thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see. Uh, n never mind. <laughs> All right, moving along. Beat that dead horse enough. Keep it clean. Yep. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is for your own thing. <laughs> that language. Uh, anyways, it's going to be Toy World's version of Bumblebee. Now, whenever you look at the pictures here, they do all their comparisons with Masterpiece figures, and I thought this was... He actually scales really well with both Masterpiece and like Toy World Orion, believe it or not. I just thought this was kind of a bad move, considering that you're coming out with this thing knowing that we're getting a, uh, you know, an officially licensed product, uh, you know, Volkswagen Bumblebee uh, for the Masterpiece line that uh, they they must have been you know had this on the back burner and decided you know like we don't need to you know, the design rush this thing or anything like that and then it was like they heard about that and they're like All right, we need to get this thing out as soon as I was possible. gonna say the the design of it and just the overall like transformation scheme and 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 everything else tied to it looks like they may have kind of had that in the works probably before their hegemon uh, if I had to guess but it it, it it would go in well with a classics collection as well. Uh, while personally I don't want another Bumblebee, uh, if they repainted this and gave it a new head for, say, Glyph and remolded it into Cliff Jumper and then repainted that and gave that a new head for Tap Out, or it wouldn't really need a new head, just repaint it green for Tap Out, I'd buy both of them easily. But not as not as Bumblebee and not as Cliff Jumper. Well, the design of it in its, you know. Bug mode and also its robot mode. I mean, it looks good, and I saw the transformation of it, and you know, it looked looked cool and fun. It looked very into like it looked like there was a lot more to it than what you would have thought. But man, if if they can repaint that uh, into glyph and tap out and do a little remold here and there, uh, I would buy both of those. What's, what's the price point on it? See, there's no Same word on the the, the the price point yet, but I I kind of figured that. Uh, if you have the throttle bots coming out for I forget exactly what they were, aren't they like around fifty nine or sixty nine bucks or something like that? You know, for only you know like twenty bucks more, you're going to be able to get the officially licensed uh, Volkswagen Bumblebee. Why, wouldn't you just pay the extra twenty bucks and get that one? Yeah, yeah. Unless you're on a budget, I guess maybe if you or, really want. Bumblebee. Or if maybe you're a classics collector as well, you may not collect masterpiece. Yeah, because that does look better than the classics Bumblebee. I'll say that much. Yeah. All right, so we've already seen the Optimus Prime from Excellent Toys. Uh, their next little project here, Soundwave. It's a little, little cute little dude right there. Be prepared to pay through the nose for an adorable Soundwave. <laughs> and uh, I forget, are are these the ones that transform or they don't transform? I, I totally forget. You know, I, don't, the, I, I don't think oh, they do. So many super deformed transformers coming out. It's <laughs> By so many different brands, it's hard to keep track. I, I know. That's what I'm having trouble with. Right, next thing is from third-party company Director Hot. Uh, brings out their non-Megatron uh, its name is going to be DHA01. Uh, this is all the information whoops, uh, that we have at the moment. Come on, dude. It just shows that they're kind of working on making this little Megatron right here. Uh, all right, a bunch it doesn't of really give you a whole lot of information there, but it's something that you know a third-party company is working on. Uh, no word on whether this is going to be a G1 or maybe G2 or something like that, but uh, just from the, the you know the head design right here. I can only I think it would be G1 base, just you know, just because there's still a lot of demand for uh, Toy World's Hegemon. Yeah. So it's a possibility. All right, next thing is unique toys. Is it Mania King or Mania? Mania. Mania King? Okay, I've heard it both Mania ways. King, so. yeah. uh, I know for like several cybercasts I've been calling it Magna King or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I've no, been, throwing a, th been throwing a G in there. Uh, but this thing's supposed to be coming out, I believe, next week. Uh, so if you guys were interested in getting this, you know, the final pictures, here it is with comparisons and things like that. Uh, but expect this, if you do have it on pre-order, uh, to be coming in next week. Wow, that's it's actually the fastest I think a third party's ever 
prototyped and then painted and then released something. Yeah, this thing went by pretty, pretty nice. quick. Quick. That's nice. I wish they would have done a different paint on the barrel of the gun. You know, yeah, I, I wish the the white here would have been gray. Like, ditch the white and replace it with gray. I don't understand the whole going with white here, but. Hmm. But it doesn't look too bad. Now for <laughs> Dakota's, <laughs> you know, top uh, 2014 wish list, you have Transformazing Toys, which I believe these things at one point were called Pandora's Box, but non transformers, uh, non transforming trailer add on kits. I'm just gonna flip through there because, or this because you have quite a few little pictures here. You know they look These good. Had they had they been working trailers that transformed, um, well they were gonna be originally, but they're gonna be like yeah, $100. with you know, but at a decent price, preferably, uh, you know, something that isn't completely outlandish. I mean, like that thing better be like complete diecast. It better be able to write me a freaking. <laughs> 700 word four paragraph you know essay on why it is worth what it is uh, before I'd even think about buying it All right and this is how it goes in there you can see where little pieces and stuff like that so it and, looks cool but not what they're wanting for it cool and also apparently yeah the little they're this I guess this is the way that they're trying to do the like it has a transformation mode, kind of like his, oh, his trailer or the roller, to where this kind of like all snaps together. To where I guess it's like he's riding a, a hoverboard or something. Uh, and then you have this thing. It, it, I, I guess it kind of looks like uh, what's, what's his name, uh, Air Dancer and uh... Transformazing Toys. You're drunk. Go home. <laughs> I forget what it is, but it's the jet. But the jet's supposed to be blue. And the tank is supposed to be red. You can combine them, and you can make at KFC. They also did a, uh, you know, the little combiner cassettes after it, but they got the colors wrong here. With this air dancer and uh, oh, is that rain dancer? The cassette, those guys? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I yeah. think that's what they're trying to go for here. It just doesn't look that great. <laughs> no. Well, just like everything else they've tried to do, they failed. So. And see, they have this little thing hovering in the air. So I guess that's what they're kind of going for. Wow. I'm done talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, the other thing is, I believe this is a second pathetic. set. Uh, I believe x Transpot came out with one, and now X2 Toys uh, is coming out with their version as well. These are going to be for pre-order for about 25 bucks. As you can see, you got a little few chrome pieces here. Uh, shocking Ellen lied. Well, whatever. Really, I'm so impressed. And you got the little storage here. So it's pretty much everything that we've already seen. <laughs> just With, another uh, company doing it. Yeah, it's just another company doing it. All right, move on to next thing. This is really uh, not really cool, but a little strange. Uh, this is another thing that has not been announced on any of the Transformer websites yet. Uh, but it's something that you know we're bringing to you. Uh, I, I assume first. I don't know if anyone else has talked about this yet, but um, these are going to be little add-on sets for your masterpiece cassette. So you can see laser beak here. Uh, they they leave the pictures kind of in the dark, but here you have like either frenzy or rumble. You have laser beak, and it's a little add-on set to where he can kind of connect to the back of him. So he can go into like some flight mode or something like that, which if you watch the cartoon, they can just fly on their own because they're Decepticons and they can do that. Uh, they didn't have to have jets, but great explanation. Uh, you know, I like that. I think that's really creative. I think that's awesome. So, kudos to that third party trying to get rich quick. And then like someone over here, they're trying to guess this. I, I don't know what other little figures are involved here, but they're like. A double dealer, maybe. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I can like tell you right now that I, I I will not be getting that. I don't, I don't care that much about it. So. 
Next thing is Dr. Wu. They're going to be coming out with these little side things, which is understandable. Well, I think we all saw this coming. But uh, the only thing is that on Smokescreen, he already comes with the little shoulder cannon, so I don't see a reason why to buy extras for him. But you got some gold ones there. Because yeah, he also has little Wu Gatling thing. guns. People lose their mind over Dr. Wu stuff. I guess so. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm one to talk. Like, I lost my freaking mind over that uh, Rainstorm set. Thought that was beautiful, gorgeous, brilliant. I mean, can, can you just look at that? You have the two Gatling guns here on the side. You can put his gun here in the middle, like you can with all the rest of them. And then you can also put his little shoulder cannons here in the front. I mean, he 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 looked like basically like a car from Mad Max, you know, so like or that, uh, from like that uh, Death Bates Race, Stealth Force thing, right? Yeah, or from like Death Race or something like yeah. that. I'm just trying to push your buttons. It just seems like it's going Michael Bay from Dark of the Moon with the wreckers. But they had all that crap on their car mode. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. All right, Dakota's second favorite company is coming out with a new head. <laughs> you guys voiced your opinions. They listen. DACA Toys is going to be coming out with a brand new G1 style looking face for their Kronos figure. What was that? Three faces now? Or three. Well, they're 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 doing two, two different two different bots, but uh, the one that had the the Kronos figure that had the very very ugly face. It, I mean, it was the, it, it just made the figure look. You couldn't even look at the rest of it. That you, as soon as you looked at the face, you were like, this does not look like a good figure. It's actually not a bad looking face, and a lot of people there are like, you know what? This is actually what I thought the uh, you know the uh, the figure needed. So you are going to be getting a new face. That's what it's going to look like, or similar to that. So all the pictures that if you're looking to pre-order the figure for the Dakatoys Kronos, it is going to be a new head. Other thing that we brought up last week, uh, this is the well, the ruination set. Yeah, it's an X transpot. So everything we'll put together here. This is like the little black version here, or Dark Force is what they're calling it. So you can see it all put together. That looks pretty good. Might be worth picking up Ruination now. Might. Yeah. Right, and Just It Toys World Smallest Astro Train. Or not Astro Train, uh, but, uh, whoa, but uh, Blitzwing. <laughs> Got Astro Train on the mind. And uh -huh. he does change up and stuff like that. So Got the little missiles here. You can still see his fist. And there you go. <laughs> Yay, I think. All right, coming to Dakota's favorite part uh, whenever we talk about Hasbro products, we get to the Creo. <laughs> so you got Hound, Jazz, Cliff Jumper, Dreadwing, Galvatron, and Beast Hunters, Predator King. So pictures are a little bit small. These are the little uh, Custom little things that you can do, so you can kind of just mix and match. And I, I need, I need there. to buy every last one of those. You know what? That's what the Botcon box set should be. Is is all Creo. There you go. Oh, okay, I get it. I was, I was like, he's got oh, okay. his uh, helmet pulled down over his eyes, and then I was <laughs> like, oh, I guess that's supposed to be his eyes. So. Come on, man. All right, well, there you go. Uh, All right, and this is something that I pulled up from IMDB, and you can you know, go there now, and then you can read more up on this if you want. It has a list of characters, and it gives you the plot summary as well. I'm going to read that to you. But the name of this is Transformers Prime Powerful Alliances Part 1. Uh, so with a Part 1, there's more than likely going to be a Part 2, and... You know, possibly even more. Uh, this is scheduled to be a 2015 TV movie, and says basically a powerful threat awakens after the death of the last Prime and the Matrix of Leadership. Meanwhile, a Decepticon warrior known as Bludgeon decides to bring the Decepticons back, and has plans to conquer the universe. The Autobots end up discovering that an ancient artifact called the Cube of Cybertron. Now, is that new, or is that something just made uh, up? It sounds like the cube from the first movie, but with okay, a different okay. 
but is kept on Earth guarded by the human government officials known as Sector Sounds 7. Sounds just like the first, like the first movie. movie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was written by Susan Blue, too? What? Yeah. Come on. Let me, let, me, let me stop everything right here. I think that's bullcrap. Um... I, th- I think that's just a listing that someone like kind of fudged up, and they're like, you know what? Yeah, this might sound okay. Um, I I don't see anything realistic about that ever happening, uh, for multiple reasons. Um, one, you know, Transformers Prime is done. They're not gonna revisit that in two years or a year, uh, especially with with a newer cartoon on the horizon for that same year, not set in the Prime universe. Second, um, the aligned continuity, which is what Prime is part of. Um, that that's probably like not gonna you know fulfill its duties as being a ten year uh, stretch of stuff uh, because Aaron Archer who was kind of heading that quit in like two th- you know in like May of last year so yeah I'm, I'll just put a lid on that right now I, I highly doubt that if it happens awesome uh, but if it doesn't you know all right well I'm gonna go through some of these uh, Transformer characters and. Uh, Kind of cover those real quick. Uh, Impactor, uh, I still have the Agent Simmons. You have Tracks, Bumblebee, Smokescreen, Skylinks, Optimus Prime, Chromia, uh, Galvatron, wait, Autobot Galvatron. What the hell? Autobot? Go. All right, it says Autobot Galvatron, uh, so I don't know where they're going there. Soundwave, Frenzy, Rumble, Ravage, uh, Scamper, Predaking, King, Ultra Magnus, Ratchet, Flatline, uh, Ironhide, Bulkhead, Starscream, Prowl, Cryotech. Bludgeon, Optimus Primal, Lugnut, RC, Rat Trap, Dinobot, Silverbolt, J- uh, Jetfire, Waspinator, Wooljack, Little One, Viacon, Perceptor, Skywarp, wow. Dreetronus Prime, or something? I have not. Let me, let me go ahead There's, that's further, cool. further, <laughs> finish, further finish what I was saying about that being complete and utter crap. Um, that's a lot of characters. That is way too many characters for yeah. a CG show to pull off. Uh, and unless the unless you're have John Voight is going to be John Keller. Budget. Yeah, and they're bringing back the Beast Wars characters: Scott yeah. McNeil, Gary Chalk, David Kay. Good to be true. No, that, that's too much. Or that's going to be the ultimate Transformers it's, movie. That's, that's, <laughs> that's when you know Hasbro's like closing shop. They're just going to do everything at the very end. Um, but no, that, that's way too many characters to put. Well, they on could do like they did. Budget. Well, they could do like they did in this one Transformer movie, uh, to where they just kill off like everyone from like season one and two in like well, the first still, two minutes. It's, it's still too many character renderings to make and and animate. <laughs> there, there's no way. There's no way they have the budget for that. Absolutely do you, you remember the first like five minutes of uh, the American version of season four of uh, the Rebirth? Yeah, but that's, that's, that's different. different. That's way People different. just popped on screen, said their name, shot their gun, and then it went on to the next guy. And that was like the first like, 10, 15 minutes of the movie. That's that's cell animation, though. And Unless this movie's going to be in that, which I doubt. Uh, I just... Again, every, everything is rumored. Nothing you know confirmed or anything like that. And it says on here all the stuff rumored by every single one of them. So. Oh, yeah, wow. We can just post rumors on all these sites, and they just put it up for the public to see. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't a Transformer side, but it was IMDb. And well, see, has has the role of Dinobot legitimate. been cast yet? Because I believe I'm going to be yeah. voicing Dinobot in that movie. No, it's Scott McNeil. Sorry, cast. Oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, because I'm going to go in there and change it. But does that say Tyler James as one of the writing credits? Isn't that yeah. TJ Omega? Yeah. <laughs> so what? I don't know if that's this is legit here. I mean, what's going on? <laughs> Maybe it's someone's like fan made stop motion. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, so if you guys want to look that up, then it is on IMDb. So there no you go. thanks. All right, the next thing uh, got a little bit of confirmation here, actually, with Hasbro about their uh, information on their new Transformer cartoon. And they said that they're definitely going to make it a little bit lighter and to where Transformers Prime was supposed to be to where, like, a kid and the father could watch it together, you know, a mom or whatever. But now uh, it's big brother, enjoy it. little brother. Yeah, wow. now it's little brother and big brother, which me, <laughs> me and my brothers, like, you know, I was four years apart from my middle. 
and eight years apart from my youngest. Even my middle brother, I'd never sit down and we watched the same type of Transformer, you know, animation. So uh, I don't, I don't know where they are getting this. They said it's going to be more geared towards like kind of like Rescue Bots, and they picked up a lot of ideas from that. And they really liked the way that that was going, and they're going to be simpler transformations and stuff like that. Uh, don't they are? I mean, they already have rescue rescue bots. So why aren't you coming out with another one? Uh, dude, it's 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 because Aaron Archer quit back in May, so now Hasbro's running around like a chicken with its head cut off, not knowing what to do and where to go. All right, well, that's my two cents. Jamie, you got anything? Uh, I don't even want to talk about this. This is crap. <laughs> I mean, I was like, you know, more than likely I'm not even going to buy the toys, but at least if they were going to give me a cool cartoon that I could watch, like, I enjoyed watching Transformers Prime. Uh, the Beast Hunters, uh, maybe not so much. Uh, not like the, the, the first ones, but... I turned it into a drinking game if I watched it. Something. I don't know. <laughs> so that way I could stomach it. Exactly. But I won't even let my kids watch it. No way. <laughs> Alright, the... Uh, Next thing, oh, well, this is something I want to show you. I'm, I'm actually going to make this for my cat because you get you know, I have a black cat. <laughs> uh, looks like a little elastic band here, and then I'm going to make. Looks like these are like little air fresheners. They put on the side here, and then give them some winks and make it look like Ravage. So, I want you uh, to whatever. Tell me how well, that's going to work out for you. Uh, dude, she's going to claw <laughs> the crap out of me. You know, she probably won't even move. Uh, but. Uh, whenever I do make it and put it on her, uh, I'm going to record a little video. So, oh my! Be fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was watching the game. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that outburst. All right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys before we get into the uh, caption picture is, do you see anything weird about this Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, He's back this in heat there. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, apparently a, an adult theme, uh, Spider-Man Blue. All right, so this is for you know the first uh, little caption thing that I put up of a G1 cartoon. It's a little hard to see here. Uh, but it's basically Mirage, and then it looks like uh, uh, <laughs> Spike is doing a little something strange there. Oh, um, I know what that is. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Steve Chamberlain says, no, this is not a Mirage. And then uh, Drado Garcia says, come on, Spike, live a little. Promise I won't poke <laughs> your eye out. Can I, can I say mine? Go ahead. <laughs> That's what I like about humans, man. I stay the same size, they stay smaller. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the other thing real quick? Uh, all right, here's the other thing where you have uh, you know, rubble. You just got crapped all over. Uh, this is from the episode uh, Decepticon in King Arthur's Court or something like that. Um then, okay, for the top comments here, you have Chris Barrett, which is Optimus Barrett Prime, says, Trypticon says to him, I'm so sorry, this has never happened before. <laughs> you could take that in a couple of different ways. Oh, yeah. Dakota, have you said that a few times? Uh, <laughs> Man, the, the, like, they ask me a follow-up question, but it's like, <laughs> I, I have to say, well, both, you know. Uh, Charles uh, McKay says, I, I, I hate this job. Gerardo Garcia says, oh yeah, that's it. Get all up in my ear. Kapow. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Steve Chamberlain says, hey Soundwave, look. Uh, it says, hey Soundwave, look what I found. This giant pile of bird shit. Eat your heart's out, American Pickers. <laughs> so that's a uh, Basically, all I got there for. Since since you market to a younger demographic, I can't really say anything. No, but uh, let's go ahead and bring that up. Uh, uh. What we have been doing <laughs> is uh, we try to keep this as clean as possible, and uh, you know, basically just on Transformers. But what we have been doing for the past six or seven weeks is kind of doing like a little aftercast, and I've just been titling it "Random Drunk Transformer Hangout." And I put in there, you know, drunk just because more than likely I'm drinking whenever I get on that show. 
And also that if any kids, you know, they click on the video, then, you know, may, maybe that just, you know, they can see that, oh, this is probably, you know, a little bit more adult themed. That I don't think we get too Because that'll vulgar. totally stop kids from clicking on it. <laughs> yeah. Do they, a lot of kids, they, they probably got worse mouths than I do, so. Uh, but not Dakota. But the thing is, <laughs> is we wanted to make that to where... Anyone, so all you guys watching live or if you watch the video form and you get to see it like here soon, uh, that you guys can join us and, you know, subscribers, whether you're, you know, subscribers of all of us or Victory Savior 77, Primal Sabbath, or myself, uh, feel free to join us. It's actually going to be moved over to Primal Sabbath channel. Uh, just because I, I, I didn't want to have this video go up, and then, you know, an hour, two hours later, then I have that other video go up. And I didn't want people getting confused on, like, which one is supposed to be for the podcast and which one is just us just talking randomly about. And I try to target to the adults. He definitely does. <laughs> he, he is not censored whatsoever. So no. since it's going to be on Promble Savage channel, <laughs> uh, I have no idea what will be said. Oh, I forgot we're still live on your channel, so I can't say what will be said. So. Yeah. Uh, the Tune in at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to find out more. 9 p.m.? I thought that's what we normally did at 9 p.m., right? I was 10. You thought it was 10. Oh, sh yeah. well, 10 o'clock it is then. Uh, so if you guys are interested in joining that, instead of sending me, uh, what you can do is you can message Primal Sabbath on YouTube and just... You know, invite me, I guess is all you have to say, and then he can just reply back with the link. Is that how you're going to do it? Yeah, that's, that's right. how I plan on doing it, because I don't really have everybody in my Google Plus circles, and I don't really understand all that crap anyway, so... Me, me neither. Yeah, just... just I've got a lot more subscribers than I do Google Plus. Yes. I, I don't even understand the whole thing still. And I'll just I'll just give you the link, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. Uh, try not to be you know too sensitive, though, because I'm not... So, you guys know no, that. No, whatsoever. I mean, Josh doesn't quite know it yet. He still cries every night. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jane, do you have any anything else? I mean, this, this, is, this is actually the shortest one, but again, I actually this, do was, have something. this was playoffs, you know, so I'm ready to go back in there. I got, you know, people in my living room watching playoffs. And uh, well, I mean, the Seahawks won, go figure. Uh, oh, my God. Oh. Well, I'm yeah. not going there and watch it, so thanks a lot. Yeah, well, there, there's not much to watch. Um, okay, uh, real quick, uh, because we're not quite done yet, because Optimus Barrett Prime did actually uh, ask us a question that we wanted to. He wanted us to talk about here at the end. Um, question is: Have any of you guys hit the wall for collecting? The wall being like the drop-off point, the dead zone. There ain't no going back. No. I mean, I, I haven't. I, I really haven't been doing it as, that long to, I guess, really hit a wall. I haven't even been doing it for two years yet. So, uh, uh, my finances are a little bit different, you know. Like I've discussed before, that just because I, I I don't get any overtime anymore, that I'm missing about, you know, six to eight hundred bucks extra a month that that used to go to, you know, figures, and you know now I have. You know that income is now you know gone. So and that was quite a bit of money. Yeah, oh, almost like ten grand worth of transformers that I'm missing now. So, yep. uh, James, for me, it's you know I haven't really hit a wall, but um, like my wife tells me all the time, I'm seasonal as far as my collecting. So I might veer off from like certain things that I'll be like. Like last year, I was really into Brave. This year, I've started off kind of still, you know, I'm looking at Brave, but I've pretty much got all the ones I want, so I'm kind of shifting over more Transformers. I may shift back into some 80s toys, um, build back up like my Silverhawks line or something else like that. But, you know, as far as hitting a wall, no. Um, um, mainly, I'd hit a wall, but I'm trying to figure out what to review. Because at times during the week, it's just like, uh, I just don't have the time where I'm trying to figure out what I should put out there, um, what people would like to see. And sometimes I just hit that wall like, yeah, I don't care <laughs> today, and I'll just do it tomorrow and whatnot. But as far as collecting now, because 
you know, once you start doing it and you do it a lot and you, you know, there's so much stuff out there that you want to get, um, but you have to be resourceful with all your finances and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's always something out there. I mean, dude, tell me about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, I'm, I'm kind of sort of the same way, uh, except it's not like a, a yearly thing for me. It's, you know, when I started out, I hit the ground running. I was grabbing everything I could. Classics, movie, you know, whatever. Um, then, you know, like after the first five movie figures, I was like, okay, this isn't doing it for me. And then I got most of the classics figures, and I was like, you know, I really dig this classic stuff. And then, like, my interest just kind of dropped in it. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to sell all these, or most of them. And, you know, that's whenever I went back to getting, you know, Beast Wars and, and more BotCon stuff and records and third-party records and uh, you know, sold almost all of my masterpieces, got a couple of R.I.D. things. Uh, but normally whenever Hasbro or Takara or third-party company isn't really releasing something and I, I don't really feel like buying a certain Beast Wars figure, I'll see what McFarlane is doing at the time, like Halo or Assassin's Creed. Or I'll see what, you know, uh, Play Arts Kai is doing or something like that and just sort of do what I can to mix it up to keep it a little fresh, a little new. So, Yeah, because I know that I think for the most part our main thing is Transformers or you know, robots, uh, basically, of some, some type. Uh, but we, we all collect different stuff as well. So yeah, I know there's some people out there that uh, all they collect... Uh, is Transformers, you know, or some type of robots or something like that, that, uh, you know, if, if you do feel like you're hitting a wall and it has nothing to do with finances, it's just like, you know, just kind of maybe lose a little bit of interest there. Or, uh, you know, may, maybe, like, pick up something small, like a small line to collect and see what you can do with it, like, you know, like Sectars. Uh, you know, like, or I can only speak to, you know, vintage 80s stuff, but... Uh, you know, you have you know the sectars, which is a pretty small line. I mean, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it's nothing close to, uh, you know, how much you're going to be spending on you know transformer figures as far as you know masterpiece and uh, G ones and stuff like that. Uh, you might also, yeah, if you like Ninja Turtles, you know, pick. Why don't you pick up you know just you know the four turtles, you know the original styles, maybe just classics or you know the Nickelodeon versions, or go back and get the vintage ones, or maybe a couple of NECA figures or something like that from maybe a f few movies or something like that that you like, and just to kind of you know freshen it up and uh, you know it, it, it'll make you you know I guess appreciate that. Like uh, I have several different things, and like you know I love the you know vintage Batman uh, from the Michael Keaton films and. You know, that's basically, I guess, it's not really hitting a wall, but uh, sometimes I get a little bogged down or disinterested uh, in Transformers and uh, just start buying something else and uh, just kind of change my thought process. So you might try doing that. Yeah, and I know, I know another thing is whenever Transformers isn't really releasing anything and I kind of want to buy something, uh, but it's like, I, you know, there's nothing... Transformers related out there, it's like, okay, what else is there um, that's kind of on the back burner as well? Because, yeah, know, it's, it's all kind of hit or miss. Yeah, for like me, I can go into the store and, I mean, maybe four or five years ago, there would be DC Classics that would be on the shelf, Marvel Legends, Marvel Universe, Star Wars, Transformers... You know, maybe Power Rangers, depending on if it's the old, old school stuff like that they're doing an anniversary Turtles. So I'd have variety if I didn't really want to. Okay, Transformers isn't coming out with anything, you know. Or if there's nothing out in the stores, then I'd hit the eBay scene. You know, I don't have this G1 Transformer, or I don't really want to spend that much money. I'll, you know, look up other things. I mean, because, like, I collect anime. Um, if football season starts, I'll probably pick up a Madden game. And then I'll just play that to death and buy football cards. I mean, it's just. <laughs> I think as my wife says, I'm addicted to just collecting, and it's, yeah, I need help, probably. Or maybe even comics <laughs> and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one reason why I, I really don't hit a wall, I guess, in this, just because I'm such a big sports fan. Like I watch, you know, like my football. I, I'm actually a bigger sports fan, and then like Transformers, you know. 
or collecting is like second in my life. So that's how big of a sports fan that I am. Um, you know, I love football, basketball. Uh, yes, my Lakers do stink this season, but the problem with it is they don't stink enough. They're just kind of like sitting there kind of in the middle. I need them to totally tank it up and uh, be just be god-awful so they can get a really good ping-pong ball so we can start to rebuild this team. Uh, <laughs> And my my baseball team, the Dodgers, you know, they're got a good feeling that they'll be good next year. So hopefully we can actually win the World Series this time or get to it. Anything else, guys? Believe that is it. Comments as well. Uh, yes. Well, kind of a light day. I mean, we did it quick, a little less than an hour, and really a lot of comments this time as well too. So. All right, well, we will end it there. If you guys want to join the random Aftercast hangout thing at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, that is going to be in three hours from right now. Uh, message Dakota at Primal Sabbath, all one word on YouTube. Want to go ahead and subscribe to, uh, if you're already subscribed to me or you know one of them, you know, subscribe to the other ones. <laughs> Everyone really good on this Cybercast. Channel and plug. Well, I, I just assumed that, you know, if they're watching this live from my channel, that they're subscribed to me. You know, actually, a lot of people, they, they just they're not subscribe. They just, they, just, they, just, uh, they just tune in to watch the Cybercast. They're like, I, you know, I don't want to be bothered with oh, your... Screw your you, and your, and your Lego bricks that transform. Yeah, so... Well, no, the thing is, is, like, I, I did, uh, you know, the so far three Star Wars reviews. If you count the three Star Wars reviews uh, and the two... Uh, Ninja Turtle Classics with Bebop and Rocksteady, so five videos there. Like the the latest, uh, or like whenever I put up a third party or G1, you know, some type of Transformer video, uh, within like the first like 12 hours, it has like more views than like all five of those videos put together, and some of them have been on there for like <laughs> a couple of weeks. So uh, apparently, people do not care to watch that stuff. They're like, no, it's, it's Transformers. I'm not watching. So. All right, but uh, go ahead and message Dakota if you want to get on that, and we will talk to you guys later. So, bye.